Thank you. Congressman Black. Thank you, Fuck Senator Fuck you. Um, let me begin by Fuck saying all you people. To serve on this you're all a bunch of bastards. You cocksuckers, you're robbing the fucking country. You can go to hell. There will come from what a bunch of crap. Look at this guy. Point of fiscal is that a name for a senator? Yeah, because he's full of you crap. The stakes are high. You the people are robbing good, us. But we can also be fuck you, you are. That our house and Senate yeah, and fuck you. Look, already reflect look. many of the same core principles. She's from Cockville. And that's important because... I'm sorry, Cockville. I banged this bitch in junior high. What happened to you? You used to be a nice lady. So I'm pleased that the House Fuck you. Senate Fuck all you people. On the important God damn it. Within 10 years. Fucking crooks. We agree they're trying to put together a fucking budget for 2016 pretty much they're going to eliminate medicare they're going to rob all the people the working class people of anything they've got they're going to fucking take give themselves a big tax break fuck yourself you whore and we agree that fuck you are an optional part of our jobs yeah look at this guy's name here they are a fundamental yeah. responsibility. That's your name. Senator Crapin. And both chambers in the coming days. Crumbs. To craft this bicameral Fuck you. agreement. And during that Fuck time, you. Oh, Senate. Each of these budget and negotiations. They're robbing us, policies. people. Step up to the plate. The people, years, stop putting up with this shit. Can lay a Have a voice. Have an opinion. People, they're we screwing us. Law is failing to live up Bitch. on some of the most basic promises. Look at that mouth. I hear that in my town hall meetings across my 19 counties. This bitch counties, used to do phone sex. In my visits with providers here in Washington. But then she went out of business. The phone calls <laughs> and emails. <laughs> <and emails. laughs> it's all American. The Congressional so Budget Office. Shut up, you prick. You don't give a fuck about jobs. Over 90%. You bastard. In job creation. You're sending all the jobs the overseas. Slow How can I put up with this shit? Where are you? Which has the potential to add <laughs> one million new private sector jobs. You're full of shit. This budget calls for tax reform. You're all full of Many shit. Many Americans just filed their tax returns ending another year that they had to deal with the long and complicated My God, you're full of shit. Program. As my predecessor, Chairman Dave Camp, who many of you serve. Hell with, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Shut up! With none of the you lying news. bag of crap. Middle class Americans You're all a bunch of don't have bums. time to read the code 74,000 pages. I'm and running for president. it's estimated that individuals, families, Me and, and Hillary spend more than $160 billion I'm the new Hillary. trying to comply with it every year. The tax codes <sighs> <complexities> <laughs> <distort> <laughs> the decisions a couple makes when planning to save for retirement. Yeah, full of shit. leave middle class families hoping if we leave it up to you, we'll all we'll be soil and green. The They'll be processing us into, into biscuits to eat each other. <laughs> A better system cannot come soon enough. Uh, good fruit the juice. tax code complicates their plans to expand and hire new workers. It also buries them what under are you paperwork. Talking and pulls about their time and what workers? Away from Your workers are in China at forty the cents a day. The last major overhaul of the tax code was twenty-nine years Bastards. ago. Bastards! Long before the internet and cell phones gained widespread use. In this global economy, other nations have built their tax systems for the twenty-first century, and our job creators are being left job creators. You mean it's job ship shippers overseas? Makes it easier for families to pay their taxes. And You're for full of shit. To have certainty of their costs. Yeah. Again, this Lying. is the first time in a long time that a budget conference committee. Will I can't take any more of this. Lying bastards. Boost the slow I gotta go out and create jobs. I don't know. Wrestle a steer. A prosperous America. That's what I gotta do. I gotta go wrestle a fucking steer. I gotta get out on the range and be a cowboy. Goodbye! And there are doctors in the Fuck you. She wants to eliminate Obamacare. I believe it is critical that our final unified budget document maintain these provisions. So 
You bitch. You, really you know what Ron Paul said when they asked him, what what happens if somebody gets sick and he has no insurance? Ron Paul said, you leave him in the gutter and let his friends take care of him. You bitch. You fucking cock sucking cunt. You know what? You got plenty of, you got plenty for yourself. You got health care. You got all kinds of benefits because you're a fucking, you're a fucking congressperson. So you you don't have to worry about health care. What about? Oh, fuck yourself, you whore. You fucking greedy cocksuckers. Don't hold back, Bill. I'm not. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your courtesy. Uh, the uh, gentleman from the other, for the opposite side of the aisle, you and in the uh, toilet bowl. Give me some motherfucking democratic bullshit here. Uh, now let me see what this broad's got to say. Now this is my this is a decent woman. She's a decent woman. She's smiling at these people, but she hates their fucking guts. Values and priorities. She's a Democrat. Debbie does stay now. And to succeed, Debbie, Debbie does really, Michigan. I would hope the goal of what we do in terms yeah, of... Yeah, good luck, Debbie. Edwards, like, you're going to talk them into becoming human. Good fucking luck. I saw this broad Debbie posing for Hugh Hefner in 1971, sure okay? Works for the I was in the photo session. She was showing her titties. Now she's a fucking box. congressperson. That's fine. Republican budgets passed by the House. She the broke that glass Senate. ceiling with a crunt with the cunt. Today. Yeah. Uh, but there is in fact You tell them. The Don't be so polite, Debbie. The biggest hole we have seen since the Great Depression. I Debbie does she, Dallas. Our unemployment rate at the time was 15.7 it was yeah. uh, a very yeah you can double that double that time. debbie instead of 15.7% it's now 5.6% yeah right That's my a ass huge debbie shift. does deficit and two thirds of our yearly deficit has been eliminated more to do yes bend over two thirds of our yearly <laughs> well, deficit has well the gentle lady from the opposite the side of the aisle bend over and us, and, and relinquish 2 minutes so i can spiel <laughs> One that creates millions of good-paying jobs, that invests in rebuilding America, that protects yeah, jobs we fucking ship overseas. But those people One work for forty cents a day. College for young people, so you're not coming out of college. You're talking to deaf, deaf to people, Debbie. Big house. They don't want to talk. They don't want to listen to this. And to cut taxes. For There's something wrong with them. Families. Unfortunately, these budgets... They have some compulsive neurosis to own everything and put you in the toilet. You can't help these, these people. Don't do enough these fucking Republicans need to be put in prison. We Never mind this bullshit. We need a revolution, goddammit! And yet, right now, Wait a minute. infrastructure is... And look who's going to lead it. We should be paying for infrastructure. Albert the dog is leading the revolution. Yeah, come on, buddy. Hey, hey, baby, baby, you know, baby, 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 you this bastard. <laughs> You're a lying piece of shit. Families in my home Look at this guy. Michigan understand that they need to tighten their belts and balance their guy. budget. You trust when this guy? A in household income or expenses. Look at this guy. And that's something we need this to do. This guy's got Washington guilty well. written all over his fucking face. This balanced budget will not raise taxes You're on the hardworking Americans and yeah. it will keep the promises that have been made to seniors. You dog, you. That's all, folks.